Welcome, friends. Today, we are doing a vintage niche, a designer unboxing. Fancy. That is right, my friends. Today is a special day because I am doing another unboxing video which are becoming rarer on the channel you will have noticed hopefully um i have three fragrances here two of which are kind of back ups uh, and one of them is like a brand new fragrance to the collection um i will be showing you the two back ups first um none of these are like sealed but I bought them on eBay. One of them I actually forgot that I'd bid on and then won it. And I was like, goodness me, that is a fucking great price. Um, so here we are. And I will show you this one first. This is the designer and it is from Prada. But it's not the one you're thinking of. This is Infusion Dome. Aha. So, those of you who have been around for a while will know that Infusion Dom by Prada was a little bit of a hype. Don't want to say hype beast. I don't want to say a hype beast, but I do want to say it was hyped. Back in the day, early YouTube frag come, early. Um, and then it was, it was renamed and people fucking fell to fucking fell to pieces over it excuse me my voice is a bit weird today um people were raging over it they were like why have they done this this is outrageous um and it was outrageous believers why can't they just leave shit well alone i think they thought that this fragrance was more unisex than masculine and they could sell it to more people if it was changed. And I believe they changed it to Infusion Iris Cedar, right? So this was released in 2008. It was made by Daniela Andrea. Sorry for saying it was Matilda Ron last time I got brought around, but poor I'm out. Excuse me, whilst I hydrate. It is indeed Daniela Andrea, or Daniela Roche. So good they named her twice, and she is good. Fantastic, in fact, as is Matilda Ron. That's why I keep getting them mixed up. Both in-house perfumers, both ladies, both brilliant. You know what I mean? So... This was released in 2008 as a counterpart to Infusion de Reese, Infusion de Iris, <clears throat> which was made for women, apparently. But I think that's another... I, I mean, in this day and age, Infusion de Iris, Infusion de Reese, dear me, Infusion de Reese is easily wearable by either sex, anyone you like i mean if you want what you just you can just wear what you like i mean i know it's a well-worn trope in the community everybody says you can just wear what you want but you can because the fragrance it doesn't lit it literally doesn't have a label once it's sprayed on you know um and if you've seen my face nobody's going to be mistaken me for a lady <laughs> but um this was released in some outrageous sizes it was released in 50, which isn't that outrageous, 100, which is what this is. This is a partial. Never be scared of partials. A 200, a 400, which is massive. And then, I swear to God this is true, they released it in a 750 mil bottle. That is obscene. That is massive. What? Why? 
I've seen a couple of the other, I've seen a couple of 400 mils. There's a, the Infusion Vetiver. Um, there's one of those on British eBay if you're interested in that kind of thing. And there is an... I thought somebody said in America that found a 750 mil. That was my first ever sort of introduction to it. I was like, good God. That is an industrial amount of perfume, that. You know what I mean? But um, this is Neroli, orange, iris, vetiver, galbanum, cedar, powdery notes. Fucking powdery notes. What's your fucking powdery notes? Cocaine's a powder. You know what I mean? Well, it can't be powdered. Like, does it smell like that? Tuscan leather does a bit. Olibanum and benzoin. This is a fantastic fragrance. And people go batshit over the, the Infusion Dawn because they want the original, the one they loved first. You know what I mean? We're, we're very strange in the fragrance community. We want the original release. Or as close to as. Infusion Iris Cedar smells almost identical. And the Infusion Dawn, this one, goes for a silly premium. And after everything I've just said, you'll be thinking to yourself, how much has he fucking paid for this? And how come he bought it and forgot about buying it? I forgot I'd bid on it, right? I paid for this. I've seen the I've seen smaller bottles than this. This is a this is a what? It's got 70 mil left in it. Right? It's got a someone's tried to bite the fucking cap there. I don't know if you can see it. Um I paid 47 quid. That's a pittance. For Infusion Dom. If you put if I was to put this up on my eBay for 150 quid, somebody would eventually buy it. You know what I mean? Because people are weird, you know. Um I include myself in that. But this is for me as a fragrance, just iris, 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 bit of vetiver, uh bit of neroli. I actually get some kind of tobacco in it. I don't know where the fuck that's coming from, um, but I get this kind of, I get this kind of brown leaf, like dry tobacco. Could just be a feature of the iris. Uh, it's got neroli. I get a bit of neroli in it. It's a fantastic perfume. You just, you, that's the type of thing you wear when you go somewhere where you're not allowed to wear a fragrance, you know, and you just smell like you've just got out the bath. Brilliant. It fits the Prada aesthetic perfectly. Um, yeah, I'm just looking now on Fragrantica, right? <laughs> there's, there's a 50 mil, right, partial on Fragrantica, 120 quid infusion dome. Mental. Crazy. 47 pounds I paid for that. Bargain. Anyway. Next up. I will show you the two Serge Luton's vintage Palais Royale versions that I bought. One of them's a backup, so I won't be going too much into it. And one of them is a new fragrance to the collection. First up, I will show you, I'm not going to get this out because I've already done an unboxing on this before. This is Miel du Bois. This is one of the best honey fragrances. You can get a floral honey. It smells very much like summertime, you know, it's lovely. It's very rich. The floral aspect is very Serge Luton, you know. Um, if you've smelled any Serge Luton floral, you'll know what I mean. This is a Palais Royale version, which are extremely sought after. And I saw it and thought, I want that. But the guy had the prices were a little bit much for me and then eventually reduced it. And I made an offer to buy both of these off him, which he very kindly accepted. Um... Considering the Palais Royale, considering what some Serge Luton's go for, I think I've done all right with this one. Um, and next, the new fragrance, which I will actually be unboxing, is Shen. Shen by Serge Luton. I think these are the export ones. Uh, Shen means oak in French. It was released in 2004. 
Um, the guy who sold it to us said this has been described as smelling like autumn in a bottle or fall in a bottle. Well, we will sharp find out, even though it's not fall. Uh, I would say most Serge Routons smell like fall in a bottle. Um, there's some that don't, don't get us wrong, but this one, we will see. I'm going to leave it in its wrapper. This is obviously been opened before, not by me. It has been opened before, and there she blew. It's basically full. Must have sprayed it a few times and thought better of it. Um, you can't win them all, you know. Um, and Serge Dutton's one of those houses I do not recommend. I do not recommend buying this blind. There's one on eBay at the minute for two hundred and forty-two pounds and eighty-six pence, which is a very specific price. Of which I will not be paying. I got this considerably cheaper than that. Um, I'm just going to plop the sprayer in. There it is. And we will do a quick first impression. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Woof. That is fucking lovely, that. It smells like an like an like an indie niche fragrance, but made well, you know. Like that kind of inspiration, but actually blended by someone who can blend. I get this kind of I get the immortel and the caraway straight away. I get this warm, spicy kind of thing, a little bit dark. A little bit boozy, big woody note as well. Something a little sweet. Oh. Could be the beeswax, could be the rum, or it could be the tonga. I'm getting this darkness from it as well, which could be birch, could be the immortel. Um, the deep, rich brown woodiness to it you know fantastic strength that is lovely i'm absolutely buzzing another serge luton to add to the list at a decent price to be fair so yes these are my pickups, friends, that I have got. There will be more to follow. I can tell you, I've got a few things coming. I've got a bit of a haul coming from a guy who is visiting Britain. Um, he is going to post it out tomorrow because it's been a bank holiday for the last fucking... Well, Friday was a bank holiday because it's Good Friday. Monday is a bank holiday. Sunday is always a fucking bank holiday. Um... And then Saturday, everything's only fucking open half day. You know what I mean? So he's going to be posting that tomorrow, hopefully, because I've sent him his, his presents. And if he doesn't, I will be without. And I will have been robbed. So I hope that doesn't happen. But yes, these are my pickups. I'm looking to pick up more Serge Luton's and increase my collection. I'm always looking to increase the Serge Luton collection. I've got my eye on some bot some bell jars at the minute not easy to find we'll see how that goes anyway thanks very much everyone